Good aurora to everyone. Huh? Looking at the beautiful northern lights that showed up recently all around the world, and I wasn't there to see. Today we're going to talk about imposter syndrome. Everyone has imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome refers to a psychological phenomenon where individuals doubt their abilities, skills, or accomplishments and have a persistent fear of being exposed. Despite evidence of their competence, people experiencing imposter syndrome often attribute their success to luck or external factors rather than their own competence. This leads to feelings of insecurity, self-doubt, anxiety, even in situations where they are objectively skilled or successful. My version is, even though you are good enough, you think you are not good enough. Sweet and short. There are a few celebrities who have spoken up about their own imposter syndrome, Maya Angelou, Tom Hanks, and also... The truth is that times when uh, you may not be working hard enough and you can work harder. But if people have been saying that you deserve something, you have been working quite hard, but you still have this feeling inside you that you are not good enough. That stems from something else already, and that's where we're gonna go into. My therapist said that I am a perfectionist, and I'm like, but I failed in life so many times. How can I be a perfectionist? She said. It's different things. So last time when I was still working in my uncle's company Now that I think about it, I have very strong imposter syndrome You are like a relative, you are kind of like perceived as having more responsibility and being able to be in charge of more things People just start to throw me things that I just feel like I am not capable enough to handle I have realised that even though I'm able to get a lot of things done I still have the feeling that I wasn't good enough to do all these things Every time when they try to give me something to do, I will still feel that it is such a big mountain to overcome Come, but when I pull apart the mountain, right? The mountain actually is just a few rocks. It is like a Bukit Timah Hill. Okay, if you have never been to Singapore, Bukit Timah Hill is a small hill. You can just take 30 minutes to finish. People have always felt that they are not good enough to handle certain things. But when they step right into it, right? They are so capable. Humans, we are quite tian. Chinese, we say tian, which is just basically nothing is good enough for us. We always want to have more, more, more. So we're going to go into causes of imposter syndrome. One of them is perfectionism. That's really for me. Even though I failed in most things, in life, I feel that I am still very perfectionistic when it comes to something that really matters to me. I actually learned this from my therapist and it was a word that I have never thought about until someone actually told it to me. This could be you also if you, you have accomplished a task really and then you are thinking I still not good enough and you need to triple check it and then you want it to be perfect. This is all the reasons. Another thing that causes it is from your childhood. Your parents are not the kind who are like ah. Good job, son, daughter, wherever you are. You actually start to get that sense of not being good enough. You are never good enough for anything. You are always striving. You always have to reach greater heights. It ends up just being a very vicious cycle. Yeah? It's never ending, you know? And then you also have constant comparisons with others. We always look at aspects of people that are better than us, but we don't actually look at them as a whole person who has his own, you know, ups and downs. It's the same for all of us, okay? We have negative, we have positive, we have flaws, we have great things about us but we like to pick up things from other people and be jealous of that thing. <laughs> you want to be that person blah 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 but the truth is you don't know his full story. There is no one who is perfect. Actually I have a video on stop being jealous and it's right here. Actually I'm quite proud of that video. <laughs> you want to strive to be a better yourself right but don't be comparing yourself. How many people are there in the world? 13 billion? 13 billion people in the world to compare yourself to? What is the point I ask you? We always end up picking the parts of ourselves that are not so great and then we compare it to people who are great at that particular thing. What is wrong with us? I do the same thing. Uh -huh. We always have cultural, societal expectations that we are not living up. But the truth is you are what make up society. It's like very strange. No one is living up to it. It's like an apple that no matter how high you jump, you can never reach. But it also makes us feel so inadequate. There's also jobs that are high stakes. Okay, so if you are earning a lot of money, Naturally, there are very high stakes here because if you lose this job, you're going to, you know, eat grass, eat yourself. The truth is, you want to be earning a, a certain amount of money, right? You need to be able to handle a certain amount of stress. It's very unfortunate, but it's also gonna be like true. And if you don't have the confidence to pick up this amount of stress and this amount of money home, why are you doing this? If every day you are constantly very afraid of being found out, I don't get why you are still in that situation. High stakes environments can make you feel very inadequate because there are people who are earning so much. Expect yourself to feel that way. <laughs> Maybe that's how you can comfort yourself. If you're in those kind of situation, right? Honestly, most people are having severe imposter syndrome. So don't worry. You guys are all in the same boat. If you feel like you're earning a lot and you're not deserving of it, just take the money and just be like... 
try to do your best because there is no <laughs> other way. Okay, so right, we have talked about the causes of imposter syndrome. I'm sure there are way more. I just don't have the time to cover everything and also my knowledge may not be complete, okay? I just want to talk about how you can overcome imposter syndrome but not really overcome. Always know that nothing in life has an end point. That's a for when you die. That is a definite end point, okay? Will you ever be perfect in maintaining a relationship with your child, with your boyfriend, with your husband, with your parents? No, you will never reach a perfect point for anything in life, especially feelings of inadequacy. I feel like there is never any overcoming it but what you can do is always to make sure that it is like a there is a bad you, a balance. you can actually use this part of you to make yourself grow so always turn your flaws into strengths <gasps> one thing that you have to always remember is that people are also feeling the same way you don't want to be thinking i'm feeling like this and i'm undeserving actually the person beside you is also feeling the same way. don't be always thinking oh, just me, just me, just me. always know that you're not alone in whatever journey that you're on but always know that imposter syndrome shows up in who in high achieving individuals yes you're right so that means you are someone already you are already somewhere someone that you need a thing that i always want people to do is to journal down your feelings your thoughts when you journal remember to try to add in your wins so your wins of the day it can be very simple so maybe like calling your mom whatever you define as accomplishments or like you completed this particular task it may not be the whole project no one is gonna give you a pat on the head you are responsible for giving yourself that pat on the head huh? you know what i mean you deserve that pat on your head but who is gonna give you that pat? You're gonna say, I feel great because today I finished that particular task that I've been working on for a while. So when you journal your feelings, also journal what you have done today. What's great about you? What's something good that you have done today? You know, you are part of it. If you put in the effort to journal about what's good about you. I'm sure there's so many great things about you. The next way that you can overcome your imposter syndrome is by constantly learning new skills. So you don't feel like you're falling behind. I feel like this feeling can get stronger as you grow older simply because you are not keeping up the trend if you are learning new skills you are upgrading yourself right that feeling will be less because you feel you are more competent you are more able to do things technically you are not okay. you know more things that sense of competency is very important whether you are really competent or not is Okay. Yeah, I did a video. My previous video is on how to read more books. I'll link it right here. I feel it is amazing for learning new skills every day. Normally, you have some areas in your life that you feel you are in. Those areas, go and focus on them. Go and get more confident in them. If it's your relationships, read books on relationship. If you feel you are lacking in some kind of skill at your work, go and learn that. You don't even have to ask the company to pay. I mean, it's preferable if they pay but even just so that you feel better about yourself go spend that money and you have a job right use that money for some good it also keeps you more <laughs> one more thing i want to say is you are going to have to normalize failures and mistakes if you have very strong imposter syndrome right you will actually feel worse when you have any kind of failures any kind of mistakes and you will feel very very inadequate of course you have to take accountability rectify your mistake as much as you can failure is a part of life it is something that everyone has to go through one of my favorite entrepreneurs is Sarah Bigley, founder of Spex. She has always told this story that her father used to do at their dining table when they are eating dinner. The father asked, what is one thing that you have failed at today? And then they will all be sharing at the table, oh, I have failed at trying to ride a bike. And then his dad will applaud and be like, good job Sarah. This is a very great way to normalize failure. There are mindsets about failures has changed. It's great that you feel because you are trying, because you are growing, because you are learning. Last thing is to practice self-compassion. This doesn't come easy for many people. Also for me, I actually struggle with it a lot. We don't really give ourselves enough space to really relax. Schedule a time for yourself to be doing nothing or anything you want. Maybe in that one hour, you can choose to Channel. appreciate yourself for what you are doing your best to do. Always remember, <laughs> will this matter so much on your death beat? I don't want to take life so seriously. This part of yourself, the imposter syndrome, that means you always want to strive. That means you always want to grow. And that means you are someone who is driven. You want to be better, okay? So embrace this part of yourself. This part of you may never go away. You can only do what you can. <laughs> I don't know what kind of motivation I'm talking this. It's okay. As long as you put in the effort to do your work well, you have nothing to worry about. The people who have to worry are people who are secretly not doing anything. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, remember to give it a like and also subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, let me know down in the comments, okay? I'll see you in the next video. 